What's going on, y'all? Six Five Show Season Two. Um, the first time I heard of our next guest, I was scrolling through Instagram one day and I follow this page called Studio X. A uh, studio out the Bay Area, East Bay, California, Oakland, I believe to be exact. And they're doing this thing back in the middle of summer called the Artist Boot Camp. Right. And so I was like, what, what is an artist boot camp? What do artists do to um, get ready for, or, you know, the, the things, the activities that come with being an artist? Uh, and they were doing a lot of things. They're doing, you know, studio sessions. They're doing literal workouts. Uh, they're doing, you know, just creative entry things to get them ready for what they're going to do. And I stumbled upon somebody named Mommy Mia. I was like, oh. You know what? Let's see what <laughs> she's doing, and let's see. Yeah, one day she'd be interested in um, some some interview questions around a project that she dropped. So we are here now. Never come home, Mama Mia. How you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, can't complain. Very grateful. Very grateful. You dropped the project very recently, no? I did. So that came out in October. I believe. Um, so yes, you're right. The album's called Never Come Home. That was my first album ever. So I do hold it very near to my heart. Um, it was, I mean, I, I don't know if you had a chance to listen to it, but um, it was definitely kind of examining my experiences as in early 20, you know, now mm. that I'm in my mid 20s. I know, mm. you know, to some people, it might sound old and to some people, it might sound super young, you know, but um, it was definitely a big time of like growth and reflection. And it's just crazy. Like as soon as I hit 25, like everything just started making sense. So um, mm. it was really cool to see myself grow alongside this album. Like I didn't plan on having it make a story, but just naturally since I, you know, I wrote these songs in accordance with my life, mm -hmm. you know, it got to show where I was at mentally and, and everything. So it was really, really sweet and touching to see the growth of my early 20s and to laugh at it too. <laughs> no, no, for sure, for sure. And on this platform, I talk a lot about um, like creating yourself, you know, um, mm -hmm. and you're very transparent of how like your art has been art in your persona has helped with like your confidence and your like physical health outside of music. So how did this album and you're talking about growth, how did this album help you grow? Um, oh my God, actually a lot. Um, because I didn't realize what I was going through and it took this album to see it like laid out right in front of my face. Like I didn't realize that I was feeling some of these things. I didn't realize that I haven't fully come to terms with some of these things that I talk about. And then, um, you know, it was a lot of me subconsciously calling myself out on my bullshit, um, which is just so interesting. You know, um, usually you'll have someone on the outside tell you, um, but to to realize it myself was, was really, um, I guess humbling. Um, mm -hmm. It was interesting because I never saw my experiences from that way, like from an outside perspective. And then I was like, oh, so I'm doing that and I feel like this, but I'm not admitting it to myself. Like I'm not even, I don't know. Um, so yeah, it was, it was really, um, I don't know the right word for it, but um, introspective. Mm. And um, I didn't realize how much I had grown until this album. So I, I am thankful for for this process and um, learning that I do need to get better. Like I need help, you know. I I need I need people. I need you know what I I mean. Like it it um, really opened my eyes to see how much I do need to work on myself, you know, I'm yeah. um, not saying I have everything together and I'm not perfect, but I know a lot of people in my circle think that, but mm. that's not true. Like, you know, there's, there's tons of things I have to work on and um, I'm glad I, I see it, you know, I'm glad it was brought to my attention because otherwise I don't know how long I would have been going through something like that. Mm. 
Understandable, understandable. And it, like you said, it kind of hits different when mm-hmm. it comes exactly from home. Um, what does home really mean to you? What do you think home what is? What does the home mean to me? Um, are you never going back? I know. Back yeah. To? So I, I thought about that name too. Like, you know, they say, um, you know, home is where the heart is. And I, you know, the album's called Never Come Home, right? But what if, you know, home changes? What if your heart changes? I never, I do never want to go back to that space that I was in. Um, I am at home, of course, I'm definitely <laughs> home. I did come home. But um, I think the name of that, the album was based on one of the song titles. Mm-hmm. And um, it's just like that feeling of, you know, when you're on a trip and you just don't want to come home, you're like, damn it, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to come back. I'm having too much fun. I love I love it here. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's that's kind of where initially that name c- came from. And then, again, as I started writing more of the songs, I realized like, oh, you know, what if what if home changes? I never want to go back to mm. that feeling either. So it was cool seeing it from a different perspective. Mm. No, that's dope. That's dope. And you talk about being away from home. What's your favorite place away from home? Ooh, um, that's a really difficult. Um, hmm, probably KBBQ. I love Korean okay. barbecue <laughs> <laughs> or Brazilian barbecue. Um, we're really guilty of getting those two things way too often. Mm. Um, but like location wise, I definitely love anywhere tropical. Um, anywhere um anywhere different but my favorite places of course are tropical places and i also love visiting new york nice nice how important is is it to kind of surround yourself with like local creatives and creatives that aren't local too just to stay in, like in that community yeah i mean collaboration is super important in general and um i'm so thankful for the studio x camp because i don't get out there but you know i'm I'm a little bit more of a homebody mm-hmm. um, i don't go out as much as i i used to um so a lot of my process is by myself right here literally right here um mm-hmm. i'll write by myself i'll you know record i'll think of ideas all by myself and um you know that's great But it's even better if you have someone to work with, someone to bounce off ideas. Um, You know, social is like, you know, interacting with people socially is super important. And I I work from home. You know what I mean? Mm. Like even my day job, I work from home. Um, So I don't get a lot of that interaction. And it's really easy for me to just stay here. But, um, you know, it's, it's way important to put yourself, you know, out of your comfort zone work with new people, talk to new people, get new ideas, learn from them, grow with them, um, and and support each other because, you know, that's the only way that the world can become a better place is if, you know, we take care of ourselves, we take care of our community, and then our community will take care of, you know, everything. I think everything's connected. And um, so it's important to to definitely stay connected and tapped in with your community. Definitely, definitely. Nice, nice. Like a domino effect. Uh, yeah, that's definitely. something I totally always preach on and, and um, agree with is, um, you know, if we all do what we love, the world will just naturally become a better place. We'll all be happier. Not as many people will be, you know, <laughs> so troubled, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word, yeah. but um, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. So the next part of this, we're going to do some hype or tight. Right. So this is going to be hyper tight, never coming home, never come home edition. Um, rapid fire questions. It'll be five of them. If you think it's hype, if you think it's something that people just gravitate to because everybody else is, the masses is, um, then it's yeah. hype. If you think it's tight, I mean, you like it. You think it's dope. Um, you think it's here to stay. All right. You ready? Bring it. All right. Here we <laughs> go. Hyper tight, never come home edition. Marvel Spider Man series. Hyper tight. Marvel Spider Man series? Is that like the cartoon? So like, like the last three, like never coming home, far away from home, oh. away from home with Tom Holland. <laughs> um tight. I love Spider Man. I love Marvel. Okay. Dope, dope. What about road trips? Hyper tight. 
Road trips. Ugh, hype. I'm sorry. I can't okay. sit in one spot for so long. I, I can't. I mean, I'll do it, but I, I don't particularly love them. Yeah. What about um, home cooking? Everything. Home cooking is tight. Tight, tight, tight. I love home cooking. I don't like using things from jars. Mm. We make everything from home here. Okay. Okay. What about the Home Alone series? Home Alone Every series. <laughs> I'm going to say hype because I haven't seen mm. them. Okay. okay. It's a Christmas <laughs> movie. Some people I say. know. It comes out during Christmas. It's automatically a Christmas movie. I don't agree with that. Um, <laughs> Sorry. And last but not least, there's no place like home. When people say there's no place like home, hyper tight tight home home is a beautiful place there's no place like home says mommy mia all right this has been another episode of the six five show go grab the art never come home mommy mia any closing remarks um yeah if y'all haven't heard my journey as a 20 something if you want to relive your 20 somethings take a listen to never coming home um also, I have lots of projects on the way for 2024. Oh, my God. That's that's a crazy year. 2024. I definitely have releases planned for all year. So stay tuned and follow me at aka dot M-A-M-I dot M-I-A um, for just music content, live content, motivation, workout, motivation, all that. Thanks for watching. Peace and love, everybody. Peace.